let's take this problem. I say now, the answer to this problem I'm about to do is 77. So it takes the answer off, or it takes the emphasis off first and fast. And I'll say, okay, let's add 37, 25, 15. And I'll say, what do you do first? And they go, well, you add the ones first. What do you get? 17. And I'll say, what do you do? They say, put down the seven, carry the one. And I do that. Well, I see adults in the room. They get their, their body language is like this. I've had kids say to me, your one is too big. So then I say, oh, we've taught the that the size of the number affects the answer. So I'll say, okay, let me know when the one is the right size. And honestly, I do this with kids. How is it now? It's too big, too big, too big. How is it now? Too little. How about now? Oh, it's the right size. Good, now that I have the right size, we can do the problem. I've even had adults tell me that the one is too big. Well, if you think about it, this is 17. And then I'll do this. I'll say, could I write the 17 here? And they go, oh no. I say, why not? Well, you just can't. And I'll say, well, I just did. I have the marker. So I just make fun of that procedure that we've taught. So this came from the ones column. Here we go. This is the tens column. Let's make that a T. Here's the tens column. Here's the ones column. I can add the ones first. I got the 17 that came from the ones column. This is a 30, not a 3. 30, 20, 50, 60. Here's 60. This is the tens column. And there's my answer, 77. This is just, this is real life, if you think about it. And then... I go and do this. I work a lot with parents and kids. But to the parents, well, what do you teach your kid to add first? And here we go, 37, 25, 15. And I'll say, let's pretend this is all money. And parents will say, well, you add the ones first. And then I go and pull this out. And I'll hand this bunch, and this is real money, I'll hand this bunch of money to some guy who's sitting like this, which is, she doesn't know what she's talking about. So I'll say, pick up my money and count it. Well, they grab the 50 first, then they grab the 20, then they put the 20 here, and then they put the five here. And I'll say, okay, count the money for me. And they'll turn it over and they'll go 50. 70, 90, 95, 98. I'll say, why didn't you start with the ones? And they'll say, well, the 50 is bigger and easier. And then I'll say, and that's real life. This is real life. And then I'll say, well, why didn't you start with the bigger bills here? Because if you think about this, this is 30 plus 7. This is 20 plus five, and this is 10 plus five. Here's our tens, here's our ones. Now we teach kids to count by tens, but we never let them use it. So here you go, here's 60, here's another 10. So real life is adding the bigger numbers first. And I can just put humor into that and make people laugh about it and then hand the money to play with. And when I hand it to the person, I'll say, now I already know how much is there. So don't try to steal it from me. And then they laugh and stuff like that. So I start to make the math make sense in the real world. And then here's another funny one. Let's take $23 and subtraction. Subtraction is just shopping. So let's take $23. Here we go. Here's a 20 and a three. 
and we want to subtract 18. Oh, we'd say, can't take eight from three. Number one, that's a lie. You can, you're in debt. And so we say, go over to the two. That's not a two, that's a 20. We say, slash it. I call it the killer method. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> Think about this. If you went shopping and you had a $20 bill and three ones and you wanted to buy something for 18, you just hand the clerk the 20, take the 18 out of the 20, the clerk would give you $2 change. There it is. That's real life math. When we do, so I don't know why we make kids go through all that crap right there. When all you have to do is subtract the 18 from the 20, you have $2 left and there's three. And there's, there's what I have left. If we were to teach kids through money, which is real life, and we call this the 20, which is its real name, you don't say two, three, you say 23. We wouldn't have an enumerate nation, which is what we have. I have so many, mostly women, that come up to me and say, I was never good at math. Well, that's because the way we teach it. We teach a procedure, which is a know-how, rather than teach the concept, which is the know-why. 